The village of Shangpu on China's southern coast, now a picture of carnage, is simply the latest to vent its anger at local officials and businessmen accused of illegally grabbing land for new development. As the annual parliamentary gathering, the National People's Congress convenes in Beijing, these scenes are a reminder of the simmering social conflict in China's vast countryside, with an estimated three to four million farmers dispossessed of their land every year. The violence spilled out when a group of men arrived, intent, apparently, on forcing the locals into line. One man can be seen firing a handgun into the air. But the villagers fought back, chased them off, and are now manning their own checkpoints. When does, when, when does... They show me the fields, sold at a rock-bottom price without their consent, they say, by their unelected village chief. It is now earmarked for a new factory. Like much of rural China, this land is collectively owned. One of the few remaining communist principles still standing, of course. But it's a principle that is increasingly in conflict with this country's burgeoning capitalist economy. Local governments are heavily incentivized to boost economic growth, add corrupt officials into the mix ready to take their own cut, and China's farmers often don't stand a chance. For now, the protests, though growing in number, remain disconnected, but they may one day present a wider challenge. We strongly request legal democratic elections, this banner reads. A demand for local reform, it may be, but it's one with troubling connotations for the party elite now meeting in Beijing. John Sudworth, BBC News, Shangpu.